welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. I'm glad you're here. I was upstairs uh, doing some uh, hairy homeowner stuff. We're putting a new backsplash in our kitchen and we got to a point where uh, I wasn't really needed anymore. Thank goodness. And I snuck on down here and I thought I'd do a quick painting. I'm working today with um, a new canvas. It's Master's Touch. It's a 16 by 20 classic collection and it's oval. I thought we could do some fun things with that. So we're going to give that a shot. I've gone ahead and already prepped my base coat. I'm using the uh, Artist Sloth Flow Acrylic in black. And it came with a nice handy dandy free pump, which I don't use. <laughs> And I've gone ahead and put my base coat down. I do what I usually do. I stack my paper cups, put it behind my canvas and tilted it to let the excess paint run off. Just in case we don't want to tilt. We don't want a lot of paint here on our canvas. So I thought I would play a little bit. Um, our colors today are golden iridescent pearl. We also have Deco Art Metallic, and this is the uh, Bronze Antique. And these are all leftover paints from yesterday's pour, with the exception of this Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Really pretty color, nice sheen, but takes a lot of pouring medium. This guy's a little heavy. I uh, probably put, um, I guess, two and a half to one with the pouring medium to this paint because it uh, it wouldn't thin down for me. And one of my new favorites, this is Chroma Molten Metals and this is the copper color. Um, try these paints guys. And, and you know what, you need to know that I'm not affiliated with these guys. If I'm uh, telling you about a paint and telling you that I enjoy it, um, I don't get anything back from them. Um, at least I haven't yet, but these are really cool paints. They're a good price. You get a lot for your money. They're available on Amazon and they come in a collection of some really nice colors that um, all work really, really well together. So everything is mixed with my pouring medium, which um, I've changed up a little bit. It's 60% Floetrol and 20% Golden GAC 800 and 20% of the Liquitex pouring medium because I was gifted a big gallon jug of it and I figured I'd go ahead and give it a try. I've used it before, but I've only used it mixed with Floetrol. I went ahead and kept my usual uh, recipe with the GAC 800 Floetrol and added the Liquitex pouring medium to that. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different I am going to be doing a swipe and I'm going to be using my handy dandy plastic pieces here from my uh, report cover, which I've been using for months and months and months. So I'm going to go ahead and put down my swipe color, which is going to be this pearl. Now, I almost wish I had a round canvas but this one is oval. So I'm gonna try to keep the oval feel going. What should we use next? Let's go ahead and put this really pretty teal down. Now, paper cups. I mix my paints in paper cups for a lot of reasons. I don't like to use a lot of plastic, but another reason is, is I pinch my cup before, especially if I want to have my paint go down relatively controlled and thin. I can pinch my cup and that allows me to control the flow of it a little bit better. I can't do that with the plastic cups. They don't pinch good. So go ahead and pinch that cup. And we're gonna add a little bit of that teal or that cobalt blue, I believe it was called around that pearl. Now let's use this molten copper. Really good pigments on these paints, guys. And 
then, oh, I forgot this. Oh, no, no, this is the Metallics Deco Art Antique Bronze, which has a really beautiful sheen to it. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put a little more teal down because I just love this color, especially with the copper and the black base. There we go. And you can see some of the black is still coming through. I didn't overlap those uh, paints 100%. I'm going to pull up my handy dandy chair. Let's torch this guy because I see a little bit of air bubbles in there. I just mixed these paints a few minutes ago. And you know what? I want to elongate this a little bit. So let's go ahead and tilt that down a little bit because I want to keep that oval shape going. I hope you can see this okay guys. The black canvases tend to show the glare of the lights that I have above me. There we go. Let's start off kind of thin. See how flexible that is, guys? I love this little tool. Gonna grab my base, excuse me, my uh, swipe color, which is the pearl, and I'm gonna really quickly pass it over those other colors. Okay, guys, come on. Yeah, that pearl is kind of taken over a little bit. And it's okay, let's hang with it. Now when I put my swiping tool down in there, I go real easy. I try not to go too deep on the initial swipe. Let me go ahead and Turn this guy around. I'm better at swiping away <laughs> than I am at swiping towards me. Let's grab a little less pearl going down. You can always swish your swiping tool a little bit too. You don't have to go super straight with it. Where is my teal? I got some selling going on up here. Well, there's a little bit. I put a little more pressure on that. You can see how it brought up a little bit of that black base coat. But I'm disappointed I'm not getting any of that pretty copper and that's okay. We'll fiddle with this. This is kind of similar to my feather swipe. That was the very first video that I did for y'all and it sure was fun. Heather Mater from Heather Mater's Art helped me put my little video together. I couldn't have done it without her. She taught me so much. I begged her to do all of them, but she said, no, Kathleen, you have got to embrace this and learn to do it yourself. And I did, and now I'm having fun with it. Making the videos is like a whole nother part of creating something. It makes me smile. Okay, I want more of this teal in here. So let's go ahead 
We don't want to use too much because I don't want to tilt if I don't have to. Most of that color will be swiped through your base coat. And let's go ahead and put some of this copper down too. Just see what we can come up with. That's a little bit better. That's starting to sell up kind of nice. And I'm losing the, the little dip de do between the swipes, which I like to do. I'm not a real fan of that dip de do That's this guy right here. This canvas feels a little weird in my hands. It's a, it's a very well-made canvas, but it doesn't have the, the inch and a half depth that I'm used to um, on the gallery wrapped ones. And you get used to a certain feeling of a canvas in your hand. There we go, we're getting some teal going. Oh, look at those cells in there. Almost looks like an octopus's tentacles. Let's go ahead and get a smaller little swiping tool. It's nice to use different sizes. It gives it more of like a three-dimensional look, I think. See how I crossed over that guy a little bit? That also gives it a bit of a three-dimensional look. Ah, oh, look at those cells. I hope you guys can see them. They look uh, reptile-ish. You see that? In your face? <laughs> there we go. All right, a few more and then we're gonna dress up that center a little bit. I'm gonna dip my swiping tool right there in that teal. See that? Just to add a little bit more right in through there. You don't have to always put it on your canvas. You can put it on your tool instead. That's kind of cool. Let's take one more kind of up right through there. And, well, I kind of got a thin line going on there. See that? I want to get rid of that little dip de do. All right, I don't want to overwork this. I like that white. It's almost like the backdrop to the teal and the copper. All right, let's go ahead and I'm gonna drizzle. We'll make it kind of a flower. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit more of this teal color in here, kind of like the center of our flower. Don't need a lot, guys, because once again, we're, we're not going to tilt this. Hmm. Let me try this. I want to get a little bit more of that copper going on. Remember to wipe your stick off after you drag it through that paint or you're going to 
add some of that black base coat color. Now, when you run your stir stick through your paint, you're gonna see it go down to the base coat. I'll make sure that I, um, I zoom in when I'm showing you this. And it brings up the black base coat, but then it kind of leaves a little gap in the paint, but then the paints come back and engulf the color you just added. So a lot of it will disappear. And sometimes that's a good thing. Okay, one more, and then I'm gonna torch it to see if anything. What do you think? Stop while you're ahead. <laughs> I have been known to overwork some of my paintings. Let's just see what's gonna happen here. That pearl, guys, oh, you've got to try this golden iridescent pearl. It has such a fantastic shimmer to it. Okay, I'm gonna have to step over here. Oh, nope, I've got it right here. I'm gonna put some little dots in that center of my little flower, and I'm going to use Hang on, I'm tangled up. I'm gonna use some uh, milk paint. Excuse me, some satin enamel. This is a mixture of 50% satin enamel with 50% of the Artist Loft white high flow. And that is mixed with my pori, pori medium, about 50% um, paint to 50% pori medium. So I put some of that satin enamel mixture in my little cup. And we're gonna just drop down and kind of make the center of our flower. Now, when you drop your popsicle stick out of the cup onto your canvas, the first droplet that comes off is bigger. The second droplet is the second biggest one. So see how that one's bigger? And as I went, it went smaller. So keep that in mind when you're placing your dots. Generally, I do a big one and a big one, and then I work in my little guys. I hope that makes sense. See, big dot, medium dot, and little dots to come. Let me get my uh, handy dandy wooden skewer out here. there and um, that will level out a little bit. I've torched that satin enamel. See how they kind of expanded guys? Oh, a little bit of smoke there. I might have overdone that. Now that's fun. That's cool. I don't know if I want the composition to go this way or maybe this way i can't decide now another little trick which i've taught you before say say we wanted a little bit more cell action down in through here i've taught you guys this before like see this coppery line here i'm kind of missing it there so let's go ahead and Put that in there. Oh, there I go dropping my paints again. Now don't be too perfect. 
because if it's too perfect, it looks too placed. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that little dipty dip. See that? Here I go, overworking it. go again. Voila! <laughs> I think we're done. I'll probably stare at this a little bit. That one little line right there, that one little white uh, droplet's a little bit too funky for me, so I'm going to try to get it back in the middle there a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Let me add another one. See that? I can't stop. The only time I stop is when Rick upstairs yells, Dinner! <laughs> Voila, there you have it. We're even getting some more cells going on here. So um, when I come back and visit this in a few minutes, it'll probably look a little bit different, but very little paint was used, guys. We don't have to tilt this. This will stay the way it is. Sometimes it shifts a little if you don't dry your paintings really slow and make sure that they're on a nice flat surface. But uh, that's fun. That's pretty. Here you go. Thanks for joining me, guys. Happy painting. I hope you had a great weekend and uh, wishing you a fantastic evening. Thanks for being here, guys. I'll miss you till I see you again. Bye.